Hello, and welcome to another Hexton tutorial. Today we're going to be looking at the Translate My Store app, also known as TMS for short. But specifically, we're going to be looking at the Selector page. This can be found on the left side navigation bar. Let's jump in. The Translate My Store app provides the ability to both translate your store and convert currencies. So in this video, we're going to be going over the three different selector configurations you might want to use. The first selector configuration we're going to be looking at is the language selector. This is the default selector where you can only change the language. Now let's look at some options. We can change the order of the languages just by dragging. We can change the label just to show the language code or maybe just the flag. We can customize the flag for each language. Change the font color, the background color, the opacity. And now for the selector position configuration, we can change the default display language. With the current option, the store's default language will be displayed to the customer. But if we choose the customer's browser language, if their browser is in Chinese for say, if your store supports Chinese, it will be displayed to that customer. We can choose the floating placement option, or we can insert the widget into the header. But we're just going to be using the floating option. Now let's go ahead and save and check it out on our store. And now that we're on our store, let's go to the bottom right and switch to, let's say, French. And as you can see, the page has been translated to French. Let's go ahead and add this item to cart, view the cart, and let's go to the checkout page. As you can see, the checkout page is also fully translated into French. So let's go back to TMS and check out the second configuration. Let's look at the Languages and Currencies selector. This option allows you to select a specific language as well as a region-based currency. We have the pop-up style as well as the drop-down style, but we are going to be using the pop-up style. There are multiple different label templates, and we can also change the default currency that's displayed. We can pick any of our currencies, or we can do the customer's geolocation-based currency. For the placement option in this example, we're going to be using the Insert into Website Header option. And because we have over 130 different themes that we have supported, you just need to choose your theme. I'm using debut, so let's find debut. There it is. It's as easy as that, and there's no coding required. So now let's save this configuration and go view on our website. So if we go to the top right, we can see that our language and currency selector is in our header. So let's go ahead and click on it. We could change the currency on the left and the language on the right. So let's choose Spanish and United Kingdom for our currency and click change. So now we can see the page has been translated to Spanish and the currency we see is the pound. So let's go to our cart again and let's go to checkout. You can see on the checkout page that it's translated to Spanish, but we're also using the pound currency with the ability for a customized language and currency. Even on the checkout page, TMS provides a true localized customer experience. So let's go back to TMS and check out the next configuration option. Let's choose regions and currencies. So on our preview, we can see our different regions here and the currencies associated. Let's go down to the placement option and we're gonna change it back to the floating widget. So let's save these settings. Let's go to our store. Because we chose the regions and currency selector, we can go ahead to change a different currency. Let's try Japanese yen or USD. And there we go. And once again, we can go to the checkout page and as we can see, it's in English and it's still using the United States currency. Well, thank you very much for watching and please let us know if you have any questions.